हेलो क्लास नाइन्थ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द डे थ्री ऑफ द लेसन टू फैक्टर प्रमोटिंग द ग्रोथ ऑफ नेशनलिज्म द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टूडे इज एज फॉलोज रिप्रेसिव कलोनियल पॉलिसीज बाइंडिंग इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड कम्युनिकेशन एंड वेस्टर्न थॉट एंड एजुकेशन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टॉपिक वी मस्ट नो द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स लाइक रिप्रेसिव पॉलिसीज पॉलिसीज ऑफ कंट्रोलिंग पीपल बाई यूज ऑफ फोर्स और वॉयलेंस Assault, making a physical attack on transport, process of carrying the people or goods from one place to another, communication, process of exchanging of information by speaking or writing, education, process of giving systematic instruction, especially in schools, colleges, and universities. Now let's start with the reading part. Let's kindly open the page number ninety-two, point number four. Like repressive policies, repressive colonial policies, repressive colonial policies were the strict policies which has been started by the British, but they were not accepted by the Indians. Indians objected on this. Now let's study. The English, like all the imperialist country, as we discuss the imperialist country, means the strong country who ruled over the weak countries, followed the repressive policies against Indians. particularly viceroy lighton who remained the governor general of india from 1876 to 1880 and lord curzon who remained the governor general of india from 1899 to 1905 took many repressive measures against the indians and created the dissatisfaction among the indians lord lighton passed the vernacular press act in 1878 and in this act lord lighton said that he put the many restrictions on the newspaper and he asked that no article would be published against the english this created the feeling of dissatisfaction among the in the minds of indians on the other hand lord curzon who was responsible for the partition of bengal he partitioned the bengal in 1905 this act was also objected by the indians but the arrogant behavior of the british compelled indians to create a feeling of nationalism because of the behavior of british hurting the feeling of self respect as a british officers not only insulting and abusing them but even assaulting them now point number 5 binding influence on the means of transport and communication the improvement in the means of transport and communication quickened the pace of the free movement in the country through the means of communication and transportation indians were able to give their masses in all over the country they they were easily they can easily spread the masses the english built roads and railways and set up the post telegraph offices in india the leader used these means to carry the masses of indian movement to all parts of the country these means enable the leaders and the people to meet together to discuss their problems and chalk out the plans for uprooting the british rule and for the liberation of their country now next point western thought and education this point in this point the british ruler imparted the western education in the art and science to the medium of english to serve their own administration and imperial ends they wanted petty clerks petty clerk means small clerks to run the administration through western education they wanted to propagate the western culture and to win the loyalty of the educated indians but educated indians were not in favor of that they were not satisfied with the behavior of british because they wanted the high job and britishers were not giving the high jobs to the educated indians but this produced a result quite contrary to their wishes with the spread of the western education and thought the indian came to the contact with the west and imbibed a modern rational secular democratic national outlook on the other hand the american on the other hand the american and the french revolution inspired the indian with the ideals ideals of the equality fraternity and liberty they acquired the ideas of the watch words of the democracy freedom and nationalism from the writings of rousseau voltaire mill 
Milton, Voltaire, etc. They get the idea of democracy and among the Indians who can say English language throughout the India produce a unity of the thoughts. Now students, you will have to read reread the, these points again and do the related exercises and kindly follow the SNAP homework and learn the following terms. Thank you.